the clear blue of the western sky comes Sky King. Brought to you by Nabisco, National Biscuit Company. And as we say here in the West, reach partner. Reach for Nabisco. Reach for Nabisco. The bright red seal on the package end means there's mighty good cookies inside, my friend. Yep, that red Nabisco seal is on all your favorite cookies. Creamy chocolatey Oreo cream sandwich. Rich, different Swiss cream sandwich. Yummy Fig Newtons. Crispy, sweet Nabisco sugar wafers. And many, many others. So just remember, when it comes to cookies... Reach for Nabisco, Nabisco. And now, Sky King. But down there on the highway. Well, what's that truck trying to do to that other car? I don't know. Sky, it's um oh you know your your old friend from the oil fields? Uh, Willie McNair? Yes, I'd recognize his car anywhere. What's he doing way out here? I don't know. It looks like he's heading for the ranch unless that truck runs him off the road first. Well, what can we do? Give that truck driver some of his own medicine. If he wants to play tag, we'll play. I saw them, Sky. Two men. Here we go again. Hang on. Little rabbits. The guy's crazy. Stop, will you? Pull off the road. The old guy, McNair. He's getting away. We got orders to put him on a commission for Pete. For Pete. find out who his playful friends are. <laughs> Be good to see old Willie again. I ain't kidding, Sky. This time, they really got me buffaloed. I don't know what to do. This oil well I'm drilling is a real gusher. This time, I'm going to hit it richer than I ever dreamed. And I've been dreaming a long time. You know that. But they got me stopped cold. They're sitting up there in the hill, shooting down at the well. Every driller I've hired, except for one, got scared and hightailed it out of there. Run off by them ornery snipers. It's a wonder you weren't all killed. Who's doing this to you, Willie? Logan Hatch, that's who. We've been fighting each other for years. That boy's an expert claim jumper. He knows this lease is up in two more days. And if I don't strike oil by then, I'll be out of money. And out of my well. Then he'll just step right in and take over. Sky, I ain't gonna let him cheat me. How do you know it's Hatch? Has he made any threats? Have you seen him up around the well? Now, don't confuse me. I know it's Hatch that's doing it. He's the only enemy I've ever had all my life. And in two more days, he's going to walk in and take over my property. And just when we're striking traces of oil in the Dickens this morning. But you can't blame Hatch if you're not sure. Well, it seems to me if someone's shooting at you, it's a job for the police. Use my phone. Call them. The police? Didn't I drive all the way down here to get them? Somebody's been tampering with the phone line up to the well. I had to drive out and get the police to help me. They're on their way up there now. Well, I don't know what I can do. They're your best bet. 
Sky, you don't understand. I had to call on you. You've always been a good friend when I needed one. I know I'm going to hit a gusher. We found traces of oil in the sand this morning, but we're going deeper. I've only got two more days left. And when I hit, if you're there, you can fly me them 200 miles into the city in the registrar's office. Then I can get my extension, and I won't lose my well, phone or no phone. Sky, what I'm trying to say is, if you're there, I won't need to worry about the telephone. Now, you gonna help me or not? Well, uh, you don't have to, you know. See? So your well is about 20 miles over there. It is not. It is so. Look at the map. Look right down below you. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. There's my oil well right there. You mean we got here that soon? Fine navigators you are. Well, the, the passenger in back was distracting me. Yeah, Penny wouldn't listen to me. Okay, okay. Fasten your seatbelts. This could be a rough landing. Sidewinders, they can't even wait till we get on the ground. Stay down. Just land us all in one piece, Kai. That's all I ask you. One piece. Here goes. Hang on. over there by the well. You got back all right. Just made it. Meet Sky King. His niece Penny, Constable Stone. Hi, Constable. Hi. I phoned for reinforcements. Phone? You mean it's working again? Yeah, there was a couple wires cut. I fixed it. It's all right now. There must be an army up there in those rocks. Four or five men could do an awful lot of shooting. What happened to Ken? A bullet creased his head. Penny, this young fella stuck with me when all the rest of them got scared and ran off. Anything happens to him now. Get me that first aid kit up on the wall, will you? Oh. What do you want? Some bandage. Here. Hey, our boy. You take good care of him, Penny. Well, I will. No use in getting one of us killed. I'll tie a white flag to a stick. Then we can walk out to your plane and you can fly us out of here. What about your oil, Lee, Willie? Logan Hatch can take it. He's got me beat, Scott. Not yet, Willie. You think he's up there on that hillside now? Him? No, sir. He's sitting right in his office. He's waiting in the city to file papers just the minute I walk out of here. How do you feel? I'm all right, I guess. Oh, no, you don't. You need the rest. Willie might need me. Hold him to rest, but he won't listen. Do you feel well enough to shoot a rifle? I'll try. Here, cover me, all of you. What are you going to do? It'll take a regiment to blast those snipers out of there, but they're taking orders from someone. Logan Hatch, that's who. I'm going to fly into town and have a little talk with Mr. Hatch. I'm going, too. 
I want to punch him in the nose. I want to twist his... You better stay and use that rifle. Keep those snipers busy. Draw their fire and give Sky a chance to get his plane off the ground. You won't let me take care of that, Sky. He's a no-good, ornery, ragtag cousin of a flop-eared prairie dog. I'll give me a message. All right, now cover me. I'll see you before sundown. <laughs> Mr. King, I'm a busy man. I have a message for you from Willie McNair. You're a no-good, ornery, ragtag cousin of a flop-eared prairie dog. Well, you tell him for me that he's... Where did you see Willie? He's trying to drill an oil well about 200 miles from here up in the hills. He says your gunmen are shooting up the place so he can't work. My gunmen? Willie says they're yours. Me try to cheat Willie? Well, that's ridiculous. King, when we first came out here together, he sold me a hole he thought was dry. Well, I worked it, found a fortune. And now he says I cheated him. Well, I never did, and I'm not trying to now. Yes, but Willie's losing his lease in two days. If he doesn't strike oil or get an extension. Well, he's not losing it to me. Sky, I have an idea. Suppose I put up the money to hold it for him. Let me check with the lease registrar. Get me the lease registrar at Capital City. I'll show you that Willie has at least one friend. I figured you wrong, Mr. Hatch. So did Willie. Hello there, Blake. This is Logan Hatch. I want to get an extension on the Willie McNair property up north here at Palo Springs. What? You say somebody already has applied for the right to pick it up if he loses it? For Willie? No? Who did that? Who's trying to steal Willie McNair's lease? We'll find out. How long will it take? Hmm. Well, get that name for me, and I'll call you back in, say, an hour. I'm going out now, but I'll call you. Right. Bye. Bad news? I don't like this. Somebody is trying to cheat Willie, all right. Yes, but I can see you're not the man. If you don't mind, I'll check back with you later to see what you found out. Wait a minute. I'm in this now. There's nothing you can do. Who says? I can loan him money. I can shoot a gun. And I'm as good a driller as he can find. Sarge, got to protect my good name against the lies that old varmint's been telling about me. I'm flying back there right away, if you'd like to come along. Sure I do. Why, I haven't had a good fight in ten years. <laughs> from a different direction. Watch yourself. Why, you sidewinder! without your crate, Mr. King. You think he's quite a guy, don't you? He is. My Uncle Sky is wonderful. Something. Stay here. There's nobody there. Get back, will you? Hey. You might get hurt. And they'd blame me for not taking care of you. Go tell Willie I'm okay. Go 
on. All right. I'm going. What happened to you? Did we hit you by mistake? Yeah. A ricochet from one of your shots got me. The boys want to know what's going on. I didn't hire them to ask questions. It's hot out there, and we're running out of water. How long is this going to last? A couple hours. The old man was ready to give up until Sky King talked him out of it. They're trying, but they're licked. Is King the guy with the plane? Yeah. He liked to kill Fred and Sam in that truck. Ran them off. He's a mean guy to tangle with, Chatham. I don't like it. You want to get paid, take orders. I don't want King mixed up in this. Okay, you're the boss. Then do what I tell you. Get back up in the hill and tell the boys to stop shooting. Let King land and join the others. I'll go back and see what I can find out. That's the way I like to do business. Shooting. We're not good enough targets. Wait till they get us out in the open. Wait nothing. I'll be kicking the sand. Head for that old truck down there. You ready? As I'll ever Let's be. Let's go. Logan Hatch, you rattlesnake. What are you doing around my oil well? Go on, get out of here. I'll lay down that squirrel gun before I take it away from you and bust it over your head. I'll do it, so help me. Just one step closer, mister. My finger's just itching on this trigger. Willie, stop! Put it down, Willie. What do you want to bring him for, Sky? He didn't bring me. I came to help you. Then call off those outlaws of yours and tell them to stop bothering us. We had him pegged wrong, Willie. Somebody else is trying to run you out of here. Now, if you'll stop being a stubborn old mule and start that engine, I'll show you how to drill an oil well. Well, Logan Hatch. <laughs> I never thought you'd turn a hand to help me. Oh, quit your sniveling and let me get to work. Maybe they gave up. They haven't been shooting for a while. No, they're still up there in those rocks. I saw them when we flew over. Are we going to fight them, Mr. King? If my plan works, we can start drilling, and there's nothing they can do to stop us. They can't stop us if they can't see us. What's the idea? Penny, take some of these rags. Oh. We'll light the rags and throw them in the oil barrels around the base of the well. That's a good idea, Sky. When that oil starts burning, there'll be enough smoke around that well to hide it for a week. You all set, honey? Yeah. Light cover us. Come on. <laughs> ago ain't getting any longer. Ken's up in the top waiting for us to start hoisting. Where's the phone? It's in the truck. <laughs> Hello, operator. Get me the oil lease registrar in Capital City. Blake, Logan Hatch. Did you get that information on the Willie McNair Holdings? The name of the party that wants to take over if Willie loses it. That man should tell us a lot. And the one it's somebody we never even heard of. Yes, yes, I'm here. What's the name? Ooh, a little louder. Say that again. Thanks. Yes, I got it. Who is it? The name is Kenneth Chatham. Chatham? 
Willie McNair's trusted friend. down for you. Hold it. Let's take him alive if we can. What are you trying to prove? We got you figured out, Chatham. Got me wrong, Mr. King. Get back. I'm warning you. Are we supposed to see through smoke? You could have come closer so you could see them. Listen, Chatham. If you don't like, we're going to stop any chances of drilling. I'll dynamite that hole so full they'll never clean it out. You men, get near the well. Cover me. I still can't get it through my head. Ken Chatham's guilty of all this. If he isn't, he would have stayed and talked to Skye. Of course. He wouldn't have run away. He may try to sneak back. The way I see it, he's either got to give up the fight or attack the well. If he does come back, we'll be ready for him. But how? Surprise him. First, we'll let the smoke clear away. But then they can see us, too. Let them. I'm through with this Captain Mouse game. Oh, no. The Captain Mouse game has just started. Penny, you stay here. Come on. Looking for somebody? I got a rifle pointed right at your head, mister. Like your plan to plug the well backfired. Too bad you couldn't have played a straight, Chatham. You'd have had a piece of that. Well, it looks like the only trouble Willie's gonna have from now on is spending his money. <laughs> you know something else, young lady? No, what? 
He'll probably pick you a whole carload of wildflowers. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in again next week. Remember, reach for Nabisco. Partner! Reach for Nabisco. The bright red seal on the package end means there's mighty good cookies inside, my friend.